I had to do some rearranging. I was thinking that maybe the filter drawer needed to be up to the ZWO camera. Other examples showed filter wheels right up to the camera, but I do not have a filter wheel. Items in this picture, item one, the ZWO ASI 294MC Pro camera. Its sensor is 6.5 millimeters in the camera. Item two is a 22 millimeter ZWO filter drawer. Item three is an 11 millimeter spacer. Item four is a 22 millimeter spacer, and it will have inside of it an M42, M48 adapter threaded ring. Item five is a CCDT adapter. It has three removable spacers. I removed the middle size one only. Item six is the focal reducer. The next item is my micro focuser and it has inside of it an SC accessory adapter that uh, everything attaches to and is held in place. Now with a hundred millimeter plus 6.5 millimeter which is the distance inside to the ZWO sensor that equals 106.5 millimeters. Well it is closer to the 105 millimeter than the previous one that I did was I put a Z on the part so I can remember they are for the ZWO focal train from the focal reducer. This picture is of my Canon DSLR. It has almost the same field of view as the ZWO using the telescope as a lens. I just went ahead and figured out that the spacers needed to to get the 105 millimeter back focus since both require the same back focus. I will probably use my DSLR with its camera lens for wide field more now since the ZWO does the same picture frame size through the telescope but the ZWO makes faster exposure saving time. My Canon EOS 60DA is designed for astrophotography but you can also use it for daytime pictures. The sensor plate is 44 millimeters from the face of the camera per the manufacturer's spec. So to get 105 millimeter back focus from the focal reducer, I need 105 minus 44 equals 61 millimeters of spacers. Item one in this picture is a focal reducer. You measure from the back of the focal reducer. Item two is a CCDT adapter. This one has three removable spacers. I removed all but the smallest one. Item three is a 16.5 millimeter spacer ring. Item four is a 22 millimeter ZWO filter drawer. And I had to attach the M4248 adapter threaded ring inside so the T, <coughs> T adapter can screw on. Item five is a Canon T adapter. It's 10 millimeters. It has a bayonet flange as a Canon camera lens has. So, 61.89 millimeters plus 44 millimeters, which is the camera sensor distance, equals 105.89 millimeters. That is very close to the 105 required. The next picture, this CCD variable T adapter is the one I used. It has three removable spacers. Underneath it is the M4248 ring that sometimes must be used. The next picture is a DSLR T adapter that attaches to the telescope's rear cell or to the end of the focal reducer. It is specifically for a DSLR to get the proper back focus. The other end attaches to the camera like a camera lens would attach. However, a light pollution filter should be used inside the camera. They do make span snap-in filters for some cameras that fit over the camera sensor area. I do not have any snap-in filters, therefore I had to figure a way to use my filter and get close to the proper back focus, thus I used the filter drawer. Now testing needs to be done on a clear night for both setups.